Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back. Um, yeah, we did. So we did finish the Asmongold run yesterday, which was nice. I streamed for a long time. I almost wasn't going to stream today. It's probably going to be just a pretty short stream. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, we did finish the run last night, man. That's nice. So for now, we're going to be back to some run requests, as the YouTube title suggests. But I, I, I hit it on Twitch, I guess. Um, I think Wing of Estelle sounds pretty cool to do right now, man. I was going to like sit here and think about which one I wanted to do. I was considering Brick Hammer. That one sounds sick, too. I just want to do a quick any percent, you know? And then after we do maybe like one or two of these, we'll go back to the Mogwin Spear. Because uh, that one sounds awesome. And we've already routed a decent amount of it. So, yeah, dude. Uh, we did finish the Asmund Gold run yesterday. We did finish. Yeah, and it was it was decent. We had a really bad... Uh, a really, really bad Elden Beast fight, man. It was crazy. One of the worst I've seen. I, I, it's interesting. I've never seen the combination of Elden Stars with that flying, uh, flying slash before. And so, like, I, I didn't think about how bad it was. But basically, when you're running through Elden Stars, you want to be taking ideally a path. Um, I mean, maybe I didn't play it perfectly. But you, I don't know, it, basically that attack, you don't want to dodge into it because then, or, or dodge to the left, which is the direction away from Elden Stars in that case. Oops. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's the direction away from Elden Stars. But you can't because that attack has an extra hitbox when he goes underwater again, which I, I only learned about like a couple weeks ago. But so yeah, I had to roll back towards Elden Stars and then like, <laughs> you know, I, I was probably a couple, you know, a foot away from getting hit by one of the Elden Stars, dude. But I don't know. We did it anyway, so. Why no background music? Well, there's background music on Twitch right now. But uh, since I don't really want to deal with copyright, there's just nothing on YouTube. It, like, it's unfortunate. I'd rather play music on YouTube. I mean, maybe at some point I'll figure out a setup where I can... You know, played like separate music on YouTube and Twitch so that there's at least something, but but yeah, if you want music, uh just here's here's the five head thing to do, right? You you listen from Twitch while watching on YouTube. That's the five head thing because YouTube has the way better like actual stream appearance. And uh and yeah, uh, Twitch got the music, dude, so all right, um, this this run, so this is Wing of Estelle. Uh, we're going to route it, and then maybe we'll have time to finish it tonight. I'm not really sure. I, I, I said I was going to help Edie do some DS1 no-hit today. So that, I, I, I don't know when she not normally starts streaming. I think around 9. I guess I could keep streaming for that, but I probably won't. <clears throat> uh, wait, what's not updated? Oh, the run command? <laughs> well, it, has, it hasn't been that long. Yeah, surely it'll be perfectly synced if you do that. Uh, requests are closed, yeah. They're going to be closed until I finish them all. We're going uh, lazy. There's like two lazies. Lassie and lazy. Anyways, uh, what we have been doing is starting with Astrologer on these runs. Wing of Ass, Stell. Uh, we probably don't need the pots either. I, dude, I would be genuinely surprised if this weapon can kill Gideon in time. But we're, we'll do the madness strat, and uh, and we'll see. Yeah, we'll make some splits as we go here. I, you know, it, it's kind of, kind of, it, it, uh, it's a predicament with these runs because part of me wants to just go for it right away and just get it first try, but then part of me also wants to route it properly, right? Here, you know, let's bring this up. Also, uh, Brosk, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude.
Um, I'm just gonna... Maybe, maybe... Do this? I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, so Wing of Estelle, what I'm thinking for this route is that, how do I normally start these runs out? It, I just feel like it's been a while. Cheat engine with Steam version? You can, but you need to launch the game without easy anti-cheat, which you can just search up how to do. Uh, so we obviously need to kill Loretta, and then we'll do the skip. Into the okay, so yeah, the route Loretta. I'm not sure what weapon we'll use off the start. Um, because we have to we have to kill Loretta, that's it, and then we can get Wing of Estelle. So we'll do the skip, um, and then we'll pick up the weapon, and then usually we kill Godric and Redan. So we'll do that. Um, we'll get Unseen Form at some point. And, uh... What weapon should I use for Loretta, though? So the reason... So the last few run requests I've been starting with this class because it, it has enough intelligence to, um, use Unseen Form right away. Magic? Well, magic isn't good on her though, but so yeah. Let me just think of this route. So we'll just we'll just probably run directly there. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the moon veil. We could just use like a square off, you know. Yeah, square off sounds like something we can do. Uh, which square off should we get though? Longsword, I guess. Just use longsword. Like an infused battle axe. <laughs> you know, it would actually be really interesting to see how good it is on base NG. It's probably insanely good, dude. It's probably so good. Oh, true. Yeah, we could get the balls as well, but... I kind of like the idea of square off. We don't normally... We haven't used it, used it in a while for things. So we could just go plus here, I mean... I'm sure plus zero will be fine. Basically just stun lock the boss. Let's just go see though. Do we wanna do we wanna cheese Knight's Cavalry or anything? Probably yes. I, I don't know. I don't remember how much intelligence is required for. I like these pants, dude. But yeah, I don't remember how much intelligence is required for the weapon. All right, normally I'd have uh, Kakaris here, though. 20 in, 17 decks. Uh, yeah, we might want to kill a boss. Maybe. Uh, Cisco, thanks for the Brain of Prime stuff, dude. I, don't, I probably don't have enough blue flask, I just realized, but... Let me just get myself infinite FP. Make a save here. That's nah, kind of not great, actually. It, it takes more stamina than I remember. Maybe this class just has really Bro. Maybe I should get the fucking... Oh, it feels so good to f roll properly now.
the square off way. What? It takes so much more stamina than I remember, though. Or, or should I should I actually go and get the lightning battle axe? <laughs> we could. You guys think? Can I wield the battle axe yet? This cost only has like a eight strength. It's probably not enough at base. Let's see. So battle axe, lightning. Lightning slash. Oh, I can wield it. This probably does so much. Like that. I, I guess we don't have any like talismans here, but. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. That's not bad, dude. Oh, and the, and the stuns actually happen. Where's my stun at? Yeah, the only problem with this... I, I, I think is that we have to go all the way to Altus first. That's the only problem. I'd rather use something where I don't have to go to Altus to get it set up. Any other like weapon suggestions that we could use here? Yeah, this is so much better though. Sacred, oh, Sacred Blade. Okay, that's a good call. Let's try it. I wouldn't use the club, though. We'd probably just go with the axe. Let's try that. Uh, will we... Is, is... This boss is resistant to... Holy, though, right? Uh, quit out cheese is not allowed for no hit. I would never do that on a run. Is she resistant to holy damage? Let's see if this does decent work here. Yeah, that's way worse, dude. <laughs> but this, I also did sacred infuse it. Maybe that's wrong. It's like half the damage. Well, there's a there's a command in the chat. You can do like res sheet. It's still okay. It's it's still better than the square off is. Well, kind of hard to say, I guess. You guys do not know how good it feels to fast roll. <laughs> like, it is insane. Especially fighting this boss where fast roll is such a big deal. Ice rind. You want to try it? <laughs> Let, let's try it. Let's try it. What, 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 ice rind hatchet, right? Let's try the Ice Rind Hatchet, you guys.
need to increase my stats. <laughs> 16. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a good old try, dude. Ashivore. 3, 27. 54. <laughs> All right, let's see the let's see the attacks. 63. <laughs> this weapon is so bad, dude. It's it's honestly just so garbage. It's horrible. Not sure why people think this is a good weapon. Um, okay, Sacred Blade is all right. I feel like if we go No, the axe is really good. I wonder how much, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess we could go Stormhawk, but I don't really want to kill Margit, though. So, never mind. I just I just don't want to go to Altus first. I want to just rush right to Loretta, right at the start. Because we, we all know Lightning Slash is the best thing here, basically, for, for if I don't... If I want to be lazy and not upgrade something. But I, I kind of, I don't know, dude. I, I don't mind the longsword here too much, but it's, just, it's, it's kind of slow and it takes so much stamina. I didn't remember it taking that much stamina. Oh yeah, we could plus four something, but I don't, we don't need to. There's no need to really. Let me try a square off again. The problem with square off is just the stamina regen, really. That's it. Maybe if I, d I if I did this, we would get the green turtle talisman. I mean, this is this is really solid, though. I have no FP consumption on though right now, so. What? How, dude, how did that miss? I'm not getting Spectral Lance. That's That that would be horrible on this boss event. She would just dodge it. Um, How much FP would I need though? Or. Or we could just go with a good old club with Sacred Blade. Now, I, I think Sa Sacred Blade's probably the play on the battle axe or something. Oh, wow. That takes, like, no FP. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That takes no fucking FP. I didn't remember it being so low. What do you guys think? Square off then? We would we would have the warrior jar shard. Probably. Although maybe I just wait to get the warrior jar shard. I should have used it there. Whoops. I mean, just look how insane Square Off is, dude. It's actually just insane. Okay, so it's either that or 
or battle axe. With a normal infusion, probably. Let me try with a normal infusion instead and see if that's better. Because with the sacred infusion, it wasn't so great. That's even worse. Oh, that's way worse. Okay, so sacred infusion then. Okay, let me go back with sacred infusion. I, I, I didn't think that would be better, actually. Oops. Ultimately, it kind of doesn't matter what we use here, though. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is significantly better. At least then the other infusion. Not sure if it's significantly better than square off, though. Is it better than square off? It might be faster. Actually, so bad compared to DS3 version. It's it's literally the same. <laughs> what do you mean? It has the exact same move set. Basically, everything about it is the exact same in this game, as far as I'm aware. Unless you're talking about a different axe, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. They're both good. The club's going to be maybe, worse than this. Maybe well, I'll actually, maybe that's not true ever. since we can use poised damage more. Okay, we can try the club. Where do we buy the club from at the start of the game? Can you buy it from the round table? Uh, what did I miss here? Uh, Fast Freeze, thanks for the bits, dude. And Mad Gamer, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. You can try the club. Uh, the Beach Merchant. Mm, okay, it's a little out of the way, but... When I tested on the Master Run, the club was always worse than the Battle Axe. Just because it does less damage. But in this case, maybe the higher poise damage comes in here. Because it's going to be two Charge R2s. Plus an R1 to stun. But, I mean, look how much less damage that does, though. That's crazy. Our charge R2 with the axe was dealing, like, 230. But we can stun like crazy with this thing, though. Well, which one? Square off or battle axe? It, it really doesn't matter, man. Yeah, square off would allow us to basically just run directly here. Without having to go even get the physic flask, dude. We could just go straight here and get the weapon. So, let me just do the fight one more time with it. The only, yeah, again, the only, the only concerning thing is our stamina.
But look, like, just look how insanely aggressive you can be with it, too. You can, you can kind of cheat a bit by not needing... Not needing enough stamina to roll after, because you just know you're going to get a stun. It's like, Jesus, dude. The power of square off. <laughs> you can't even do anything, dude. Bastard. Look at that tracking. That's so busted. I, I normally wouldn't follow her, to, follow her to the wall like that, though. It's just I'm too excited to use square off. Okay, that's one. That, that's better than the axe, honestly. Almost nobody's surprised. It's probably not better than the lightning axe. That's plus zero, by the way. Obviously. Okay, so then we would go do the skip. We would end up, um, where do you end up again? Here. Oh, um, do we need the stealth first? I'm not sure if I know a strat of getting through here without stealth. I, I, I must, right? <laughs> Yo, Elfman, thanks like for the thousand bits again, dude. Combination, but the combination is thanks so much, dude. In the safe. Yeah, we got the Asmongold run last night, you guys. Wait, you know what? I think you can actually just sneak on the side. I can't remember what I did in my first All Remembrances No Hit. That's the only problem with that is those uh, clay man that are back there. Yeah, and then, like we're right at the weapon too, so we, we're probably going to get the weapon within 10 minutes of, of starting the game or so. Like it shouldn't take that long. We just got to go to round table. How can we distract them? Yeah, true. I guess I would have a couple. Oh, wait, distract two. The Stell guy? Yeah, yeah, the clay man, yeah. Um, maybe I should just get unseen form because these ants, uh, you can cuckery the ants, I guess. I think that's, or I don't know what I did on all remembrances, man. Oh, use wave of gold. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should just get stealth. Okay, so if we get stealth, then... Okay, here's what we can do. We can immediately go kill Loretta. Once we kill Loretta, then we can get the medallions. You know, do the run through. And, uh, 
and then get unseen form. And then once we get all that, then we can just come back down here and, and run through this section with unseen form, but get the weapon. It's also like 40k here. Pretty huge. Yeah, and we'll, need, we'll probably need stealth for this section too. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Do those guys like cast any spells or anything? Oh. I, I remember they did something like that. I wonder if Square Off will one-shot them. There we go. Okay. So, by that point, we'll have the medallions. We'll grab this. And then, once we get the weapon... We get it to plus six, right? We go... We get the five and six in Old Altus. I think that's what I've been doing recently, right? Oh, I yeah, I guess we could get a 7 here. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, we could get the seven that's, uh... I think the quickest one... Obviously, you can take out the Estelle. I don't think that's a good idea, though. But we can get the Grace here. Get this Grace here. Uh, the seven. We would have Stealth by now. Let me just give myself Unseen Form. Uh, it drops from the hanging Estelles, yeah, but I, I just, I don't know if we should do that. There, there's just a pickup over here. It's probably slower, though. But I'm not sure if it would be safe for me to... Try to kill one of them. It, what if I, I... It might be safe. I'm gonna have to go. Let's go. We can go try it, but let me just remember where this one is. I think this would be the fastest pickup from where I'm at. That's not killing one of those guys. Make sure I don't get shot. Um, It's in one of these. I think I already passed it. Ah, here we go. So we can get that one. Or is it is it only the Estelle that's back uh that's right here that drops a seven, or does this other one do drop one also? Because I know for a fact that the first one does. One in a room up the stairs? What, a, a seven? And pull up Map Genie. Did I misspell that? No. That's the one I just grabbed, and I guess there is another one. And I guess the, the one down here doesn't drop. Well, I mean, I, okay, well, let me go figure out where this one is. 
room with a phalanx. Yeah, going up here would be riskier. So you know what? I'm not even going to bother. We, we're not going to really have a good weapon by now yet, so... Uh, we're, we're doing uh, Wing of a Stealth Hunter right now. I just want to do a couple any percents first before we go right back in a, an, an all remembrances run. I just want to see if, if I guess I don't know why I like why did I run from back there. Uh, it's because of the Golden Order uh, incantations are intelligence and faith based is why. All of them are like that. They have an intelligence higher intelligence requirement. Yeah, we completed the uh, Asmund run last night. Wing of Estelle before Redan only possible with the tree jump. I mean, technically... Yeah... I, I guess so. Well, no, actually. Technically not, but <laughs> the other way would be you would have to go, you know, you'd have to go kill Sewermog or Gargoyles. Well, it would have to be Sewermog, actually. So, technically no, but kind of yeah. Okay, let's see. Can I... Maybe this will... St oh. Maybe this will stun or something. Because this would be a faster way of doing it. I wouldn't have to go get that grace. How much poise does this guy got? It's a headshot. Oh, 20 poise? What the hell? Huh. Okay, so I guess even if you had, like, ice spear or something, that would poise break. That's an uppercut. And it's a headshot, right? So, like, even... How can I hit him, though? Maybe it's a different angle. I could also Kukri, maybe. Might allow me to get closer. Yeah, that, yeah, Spectral Lands actually would be useful here, but I'm, there's no I'm going to get it. Not going anywhere near there. What a horrible throw. Oh, yeah, maybe. Ma oh, yeah, true. I forgot I have magic. It's just the problem. It'd probably do zero damage, though. Let me get, get do a good throw here. Ah, oh, you're such an asshole. Yeah, I'll try jump bar, too. <laughs> Imagine missing and just dying. How much damage do these do? Oh, we are so close to poise breaking. But the poise resets so quickly.
I'm just... We'll just go get the other one, I think. Because <laughs> this seems like a huge pain in the ass. We don't even deal good damage to him. Okay, so we get the Wing of Cell. Kill the bosses. And, uh, yeah, just go straight to this guy. Probably cheese him, I guess. I don't really remember how many levels I usually get to on these runs, but... Yeah, there should be no need to cheese any boss because we, we have this gigantic rune pickup in there, right? 45k. Oh, I can't level up. I can put turning to aid you. I'm tired today, man. I didn't really sleep a whole lot, I guess. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectre torrent. Treat him with. Hey, what's your problem? To determine if you have it seems torrent, whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering play where at my hand. That's got a dead waifu. <laughs> Amazon delivery driver. That's all good. So stat requirement is 20 int, 17 dex. And what do we want to primarily level up with this thing? Probably just all int. That is not a lot of physical damage. Luckily, magic damage is good. Wow, that... Okay, I guess we're plus zero. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so um, let me just... I think I remember how to pick these up, but let me just do it. That's not the right spell. We're here for the six. Um, for the five, how was I picking that up? Oh, the Beast Torch, maybe? Just Beast Torch? And then I think I just memory of... Did I memory of Grace out? Or... Probably. Yeah, I think I just use the Beast Torch and then just gun it, pick it up. Just have to make sure I, I, I do this before I pop all those runes. Double ad revenue if you watch on YouTube and Twitch. I honestly have no idea, but I guess maybe. Never like checked, but I guess theoretically. Um, okay, let's so we got 
Five and six in there. One, two, three, four from EG. And then we get a plus six, which we will use to kill Margit. Okay, and then I, I guess we would... How much faith do we have on this? Seven faith. That's pretty low. We need 13. But I guess after we do that, this is magic damage, right? Then we would come up here, get Howl, go kill this guy. Um, and then we get the magic tier, probably would get the end tier as well. Get the five in the Altus Forest. Wait, there's a five in here? Map Genie. Oh. Oh yeah, no, I I knew about this, but it's surrounded by all those guys though. But I I, I didn't. I was kind of scared by them. I'm the Scarab, right? I never actually even thought of trying to cuckery them. Need the grapeo, but they're just gonna hear when I. Dude, I could just shoot the scarab out. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, we because I remember. Yeah, I, somebody told me about this, and it's like, oh yeah, we could just get this one, but then. Which direction? Probably. Let's go on horse and oh. Kill horse. Oh, can you sleep these guys, really? Yo, where'd he go? Which five is... I don't know what five to get. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That seems kind of scuffed, dude. So we will get the... Intelligence not tier. Magic Shrouding Tier. The one in Kaled? A Summer 5? Oh. Mmm. Where's that? Is this is this in the cave? This one is further out of the way. It's really not a lot of summer fives in the game. I guess well, actually just just kidding. Oh wait, Smithing Stone five. Not that many. There's this one. This one's kind of slow. Like, just the one in the cave's fine, man. It's totally fine. I just need to use my brain a little bit and not memory of grace with a, a ton of runes. Uh, Talisman set up. We would go with what? Probably just Warrior Jar Shard. At the start. No, we've already got this figured out, you guys. The the ca the five the five in the cave is perfectly fine. 
We've done this route a couple times now. When does... I forget. When does Alexander leave this spot? We could just kill him with square off early, I guess. It'll help. It'll help on Loretta as well. So we can do that. Kill him early. Um... So let me put the physic in. I might not even get the intelligence tier because it only would help us at the, you know, on the early bosses. Because we're going to be going with the faith tier right after Godric, basically. I, th I think, right? Because we'll have the faith talisman. Like we we want to be getting the 13 faith after Godric, and then with the great rune, with the tier, then we use Howl. So that's probably the plan. I guess we're also going to want Golden Vow, right? We want Golden Vow. They fixed the bug with this, right? Please tell me they fixed that. They did? Okay, good. But doesn't it still still exist in the game with like something else? Holy. Oh boy, that's I mean, we're plus 6, but uh that's pretty good. All right, we have unseen form, we just run a Godric. Uh, the talisman slot we would add in here is what? Ritual sword? Ritual sword? Or do I usually use something else? I, I can't remember, man. We don't need the charge attack. I guess just ritual sword. I, am, am I missing something? Yeah, you know, I guess we could go with uh, Magic Scorpion. Okay, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's not too hard to do. Starlight shards we'll get are which ones? Though. Poise tier? You think it's worth losing that magic damage, though? Radagon? Oh, that is right. I usually do use it, but... That doesn't really help us with this weapon at all, so... Probably not even going to use it on this one. It's only plus six as well. Didn't they, didn't they like shadow nerf this Ash of War at 1.2 and make the spread? Or I thought they did something with it. Maybe that was in a dream, dude. I thought they made it maybe explodes more slowly or or the spread was bigger or something like that. Not sure. I would assume we got a poise break here. Or just kidding. Okay. I also haven't been leveling up, really. So then after this... We 
we get this. And then we also have the um, Faith... Faith Not tier. And then we also... of this. A jar shard? Oh, uh, we already have it. Oh, uh, we did. Double I, dude. Player, I, I didn't watch the game because we were streaming and getting runs. While the Suns were losing, I was winning. Is what happened. Kind of happy I didn't watch it though, dude. That sounds like not a... It, well, it sounds like it was entertaining, but in a bad way for a Suns fan, man. Um. Okay, so we get that. What else do we need? The um, two-finger heirloom. Like this. And of course that gets swapped out on the boss. So faith, uh, we would level up as well. Level up to 13 faith. There's a lot of faith. I mean, maybe... I don't know. This is fine. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out if this is the optimal, like, starting class for using Unseen Form and other things, but part of the reason why I wanted to go with it is because it, yeah, we don't need to level up at all to use Unseen Form. Yeah, surely no hit Baldur's Gate 3 is a good idea. But now. So then after after we kill this guy, we um I wonder if we should fight the draconic tree sentinel. Or or we can try like baiting him to the edge and then surely this will stun him, right? <laughs> it has to. No hit runs. No, no hit runs can easily happen early. Just depends on the game. Like if it's a Souls game, people are gonna try to no hit it right away. But yeah, the R twos on this thing are. Yeah, they have the projectiles. Is it any good? Did this work with a charge R two build. I mean, surely it's not better than just Ash of War spam, though, right? But let's see. I mean, pretty good, considering I don't have a... ...build for that. I think that's better though. I would probably say. I didn't even swap my talisman, whoops. Minus 10% damage. All right, so that's good. Is there anything? What which number seven do I normally get? Is it the sewers one, or is there a different one? It is the sewer one. I, 
I guess this is the one that's on the scarab, and then this is just the pickup, right? Or something? Oh. We don't go to Volcano Manor at all in these runs anymore. And, and the main reason is so that I don't have to test Bernal. Alright, uh, so... So what? I, I really don't feel the need to test like any of these other bosses except for Gideon. Now what should we do for Gideon? Because this is not going to be good on him. Is Terra Magica worth? No. I mean it would be good, but... I really don't like using Terra Magica because it just makes you stay in one place the whole time. So what level would we be at this point? <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to say, but... How many runes do you... Okay, so we get... How... how we get... Is it around 85? Have we, have we tested it before? Yeah, I, I trust 85. In terms of talisman setup, um, we would go... I, I guess we, we definitely can go with Magic Scorpion. It's not too much effort. We just need the, the Golden Starlight. Three Starlight Shards. Or is, is it three or two that you need? Are you guys sure it's not two? Yeah, you can do it with two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The so two starlight shards, the amber starlight shard, and that's it. And we just have to go and, like, talk to the puppet, right, or something? Or go underneath in his little secret area? But isn't there... There's also a, a caster there. Um, and then... So, so I guess we can go Magic Scorpion. And then what are we missing? As our last slot here. I really don't know. I don't know what goes in this last slot. I guess we could just keep the faith one in. Hammer Talisman doesn't really do anything. Make a dock with the amounts of runes. Well, I guess I could. That that would be a good idea. For sure. That 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 actually is a fantastic idea. Just mapping out all the rune pickups. Dude, that's a really good idea. Yeah, what we could do is just yeah, make a yeah, make a spreadsheet where I just I basically just go through the route with all the little souls I pick up, right? Like, and then I could probably just have exact rune amounts on the base runs. So you would get, you know, you get like the soul at the start of the game, which is 3k. You get this one, which is like, I don't even know. This graveyard. And then, you know, Margit runes, Godric runes, Rodan runes. And then I could just like add in Loretta if I want for certain routes. Draconic Sentinel. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Marcus Garseal? Nah, that's too out of the way. Could be Sword Seal. Yeah, we could get the Sword Seal. I thought, isn't... Yeah, Loretta might be 10k. Um, Filigreed maybe, but... I mean, actually, yeah, filigree would be right on the way. That's a good call. Yeah, we can go filigree. Or, yeah, or the Green Turtle Tossman, but I don't think that's super necessary with this build. Yeah, we might end up having to get Red Feather, potentially, but... Okay, so level 85, we'll say. Just for now. It's probably going to be higher than that, because we're doing extra stuff.
Uh, yeah, that seems about right. I mean... Seems about right. All right, so let's get a plus 10. Uh, Blue Dancer wouldn't do anything, really. Was it the patch? Patch of green beside Altus and Volcano? This is Shaded Castle. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do Bird Skip. It just depends if I want to fight Malketh plus nine or not. I, I do really like doing Bird Skip, though. Rogers set. I wouldn't say it's by a lot, but it, it is something. We could use Rogers set. It's 8% total, right? 2% a piece. What's it actually called? Spell blade something? Spell. Spell blade. Definitely not a lot. This is one thing I hate about magic builds is the spellblade set just adding on to it. I think it's like there's already way too many buffs for, for like magic stuff, dude. There's already way too many fucking buffs. But yeah, okay. Definitely could be important uh, for Gideon, depending on how this ends up working here. Because I, I would be surprised if we can kill him in and in actually wait. Uh, Frenzy Flamestone. I, I I almost have no doubt we're going to need something, something like that. And we might need Red Feather as well, but let's just test like, with this for now. What, like, what would even be the strat here? Because the Ash of War is going to suck. And the R2 is going to suck because it's a double hitter. You don't really want double hitters. So. Maybe like a, a, a you know, like a, a backstab into. Let's just see. Let's see what the Ash of War does here. <laughs> if it, it's going to be terrible, honestly. It's going to be so bad. Uh, what the fuck? No way, dude. There's no way that is going to be consistent. But what? I'm surprised that he... Stood still during that. Like, I would assume he'd just be able to roll out. Let's maybe stand here. Wow, that's crazy. If, if that's actually consistent, that's insane, man. Because usually on multi-hitting things, it's horrible here. Right? And, and the Asmongold run was a perfect example. Like, a, even a power stance jump attack, Gideon, it's like you hit him twice, and so he immediately turns around and can start rolling around. So I don't fully believe this is consistent here, but... I don't I don't hundred percent believe it. What a sad state of affairs. Yeah, maybe to, maybe just it stun locks him, dude, and he just can't even do anything. And we could throw a we could throw a, a madness stone in here as well, probably. Make it more consistent. Possibly.
It doesn't never hurts to throw a Manda Stone in there. A uh, full set is eight percent, so it's it's something, but it's nothing insane. I commend your spirit, but alas. Where do I want to stand here? Maybe back here is good. Wow, it totally stun locks him, dude. That's insane. Okay, well, there it is, man. I'm so I'm so surprised. Dang, dude. It's like it just frame traps him because he gets he just keeps getting stunned by it. Beautiful. Very surprising, man. I this is the first multi-hit thing that I've seen ever work here, I think. Actually so surprised. <laughs> That's awesome. We don't even need red feather for this. I could see him. I could see him getting out of that though. Still, should I get the madness stone? It's not that far to the way. Let me try the madness stone with this. I could see him getting out of that. No, this weapon's not supposed to be bad. This weapon... Everyone knows this weapon's insanely good. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't think it would be good here. Which it seems to be. Okay, that actually was bad. Oh! He still died. What the hell? Okay, no mana stone. Okay. Oh, there it is. And, um... Shall we go test the final bosses? Or should we not? I mean, we don't really even have to. I think, I think, obviously, Elden Beast is going to get totally eliminated by this, so. No, we don't need to test, I don't think, man. I don't think we need to test it. Let's go test Horlu because, well, I already know what I'm going to do. On the phase two, I'm just going to, I'm going to use it, roll, use it again, and he's probably going to stun. And it's going to deal enough damage that it just transitions him into phase two if he doesn't stun, but he'll probably just stun. I guess I guess we can test Radagon, but we'll just we'll save Elden Beast for the actual run. And I, I do also I do think that um, Filigree's a good call. Oh, is this Morgoth? Well, this is also plus 10, and we're way higher level than we would be here. How did I go to the... I went to the wrong gray somehow. Uh, this will be an any percent, probably. Like, what we can maybe start doing... Is we can do any percent, and then try... What I, what I used to do in DS3 was do any percent and then try to get, you know, more content after and just keep going. We could start doing that at this point, man. I think our actual success rate at getting all great runes would be pretty low. But we, we could try that. I mean, we would probably just... What would we do with Rykard, though? Just skip him? We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. I'm going to start doing that, actually. Now that I, I feel like I'm better at the game and I don't need to like test everything before we do it. I could just go into it. I'm not sure if we just skip right card of what we do there. Ooh, maybe it's not so good on this fight. Go. 
kind of barely <laughs> had enough. Uh, Really had enough time there. This weapon is insane. Like even just being it, it, being able to have an, a ranged R2 like that is pretty good. Like a stun? Well, he, he moves around too much in phase one, and he definitely ate a stun somewhere. He definitely ate a stun. No, the poise damage isn't bad at all. In fact, like on... Is a fog gate here? What the hell? Probably because I... Ah, oh, is what I get. No, it's almost that the poise damage is like too high. I thought I killed Morgoth. The fuck? <laughs> Didn't I just kill him? Or did I, I I actually reload to save is what happened. Oh my goodness, dude. I do wanna wanna try this on Radagon actually, I guess. What, what, actually, you know what I can do? I, I, I can just fast travel to this, I think. This should work. I'm gonna just turn on infinite FP for now. Just because normally we, we will have more flasks than this. Oh, two is close there. If if I don't know if that's like the normal opening, but I guess it kind of does take a decent amount of stamina, doesn't it? And one one thing that's a bit tricky with this is that you almost want to be far, a little far away. Because if you're not. End up whiffing a lot of hits. This is probably like the best boss in the whole game for this weapon. Literally iron balls tier for this boss. <laughs> Just no surprise. All right, for this route, um, I, I kind of want to make. I almost want to do this without splits. But. I don't know. What should I do, man? we just go no splits? You just have a timer. All right, and should I have like a hits equals zero thing? I, that's what I used to do. Is that cut off at all?
Kind of looks really bad. <laughs> Is this fine? Under cam? <sighs> what do you guys think about this? Or, sh or what? We could do something like that, I guess, but is this better? What is there, you guys? A little small. Not the first time I've heard that. Surely. There we go. Hopefully I remember how to do all the stuff that I'm meant to do on this run. There really shouldn't be anything that I have to test, I don't think. Should be able to just wing most of the bosses. I have enough time to finish this run today, actually. I might not, but... Yeah, I, I have to imagine Godskin is going to get crushed by this, right? They have to get crushed. I guess the only concern is that I accidentally hit the other one, but even if that happens, memory grace out and redo. No problem. We could probably even kill him in one cycle. I Well... You maybe could, dude. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Let me turn everything off. Uh, I guess I'll I'll give myself the maps though. I like having the maps. There we go. Uh, it does not, Marcel. So first stop, um, we will... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the first stop is. This run won't be quick. 
There's, there's no way this run's going to be quick because using Howl just adds a lot of time. And then the early game setup, it's, it's going to be at like at least two hours. Uh, not yet, last. Um, that's probably something I'll do in maybe about a month or so. I, I, we'll do a bunch of run requests, and then I might do one of those other celebrity no hit runs or whatever, celebrity build no hit runs, and then, uh, and then after that maybe master run. So yeah, we'll just run to Let's just run straight to Loretta. Like that's that's the first stop. And then once we get there. Once we get there, I will um go around table, get the long sword. Come back here, kill Alexander. And then fight Loretta. And then after that, we can go get the medallions. Get hidden form. Unseen form. And, uh... Get a plus six. And then that should be good. Yeah, we gotta eventually once we're ready to do that next celebrity build no hit run, we'll do a make a poll on it of people's suggestions on who it should be. This is a good route, though. We we. Spent quite a bit of time, I would say about a month and a half ago. Once we were going to start up the request again to make a route where I really did not have to test that much stuff in order to start attempting it. And yeah, so getting Unseen Form instead of Assassin's Gambit is part of that, right? Because for Assassin's Gambit, certain weapons aren't really strong enough to kill Bernal in a good, in a quick way. And so using Assassin's Gambit means that or unseen form means that I, I don't have to test anything because it's the same every time. And uh, basically, yeah, the only things that I need to test are God's Can Duo, which most weapons are good enough to script them with sleep. But then the main thing is Gideon, right? Because Gideon actually does change depending on the weapon. So what I will do, once I have some time, I'll make, a, I'll make some sort of spreadsheet that has the the runes that I would normally collect on on the average run, like let's say just say the like the minimalist run, like the Iron Balls route or something like that. And yeah, and then I can have an idea of what sort of level I'd be, so I can just test based on that. I guess I'd also have to consider runes spent as well. Yeah, rune spent is another thing. Now oh, we're gonna go this way because we need that faith talisman. Well, unseen form is a is a spell that doesn't make you silent, whereas Assassin's Gambit does. So, it, so I, I believe if you went with Unseen Form plus the Assassin chess piece, then you would, it would be basically the same. Although, Assassin's Gambit also lasts longer. I, I, actually, maybe, maybe it doesn't. Maybe they're the same. I actually can't remember. 
Uh, Yo, thanks for stopping by, dude. I can't remember which one lasts longer. Osman for silence? Uh, there's not. Well... Which one? The, the vile one or whatever? I can't remember. Maybe there is. Where do you get that one from? Totally forgot about that talisman, dude. Ah, uh, and that's, yeah, that's why I've never used it. It's because it's from a quest line. I guess... Which way should I be going here? I kind of generally like to go get the academy key, but we really don't need it here, I don't think. Mark Zuckerberg build with Serpent Bone Blade. I don't understand. Oh, because he's like a, a lizard? I'm not sure if there's going to be a lot of stance breaking on this. I mean, probably. But the boss might die too quick. And, and I also think this is probably a weapon that you don't want to be using on every single enemy. Or, or a boss, I mean. Maybe it is. I, like, I'm sure it'll at least get the job done. But where it's maybe the best in the whole game is on those huge bosses. That's where it's maybe the best in the whole game. Right, we just saw that Elden Beast kill. The only kill that is probably better than that is with the Star Fist or Iron Balls. That's, that's, I mean, which is the best weapon in the game, so. So, yeah, Plaza Dusax. Elden Beast. Um, I don't know what other bosses, but I'm sure there's more. Oh, uh, we didn't test Fire Giant. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I mean, it should be good in phase two, right? To get a bunch of hits on the hand. In the head. We'll probably stun him, I bet. We, we can do a sleep strat for Fire Giant in phase one. Where we basically break his ankle thing and then sleep him immediately. And then just spam him until he's in phase two. Although it, it might almost be too much poise damage. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if this is actually a viable no-hit weapon. Because we know it's good. But is it good enough to justify killing an extra boss, going through an entire extra area? I'm not sure. Probably not. It's probably not... Well, it's going to be viable, but it's probably not actually... If you're going to do no-hit worth to use this weapon, unless you just want, really want to use it. A little consistent. I, I agree. I, I think that'll be the, the weakest part of it. And that's why you need to be fighting a big boss, right? So that you can... Mitigate the RNG. Or just hit more times. And that's why I was saying, again, like... I think the best case for this boss on the big, or best case for this weapons on the big bosses, which is obvious. 
Then on the smaller ones, there's better options, probably. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Solid Rain, thanks for the two-month prime sub, dude. It's the best weapon in the game, though. Uh, which weapon? The Starfist? Or what? Which one? Why did I... Okay. <laughs> I guess it's fine. I didn't actually mean to buy that, but... Well, Starfist are the highest damage. And also the highest poise damage. So... Yeah, I mean, it is it is debatable, though, for sure. It is debatable, because, sure, you could, you could argue, like, you know. How could you argue? Some other weapons, like, I'm, you could argue other weapons are better, I guess. I, mean, I guess I'm going to go get a Golden Vow now, or... I think we might as well while we're here. I'm pretty sure long with square off this is fine. Like when greatsword. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah, and Darkmoon greatsword has range, so. So yeah, that there's definitely a case to be said where Darkmoon greatsword's better weapon or no hit. Ten times out of ten, I'm taking Starfist though. How could he have possibly not gotten knocked off there? You know what? Maybe I could even use an Exalted Flesh on Loretta. <laughs> We're really going all out for Loretta, dude. Golden Vow, Exalted Flesh. We're going to blast her. What's up, Nathan? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Oh. I at least. My thanks. Oh. Um, this isn't weapon art only, I guess. Oh, I guess why did I have to... I forgot he gives you one. Wait. I see. I see it now. <laughs> oh, that was close. Jesus, dude. I, I, maybe uppercuts are better on him with score off. Not actually sure. I wonder how many frames away from getting hit I was right there. That was a little close. That would have sucked. Just minus 16 minutes for no reason. <laughs> Actually, I should figure that out, whether I should be doing uppercuts there or not. Um, I need to reallocate my flasks. Ever lost a run to him? I'm sure I have. Well, go, yeah, that, I mean, three is easily enough with this. Does the WA in request mean weapon art or weapon acquired? Uh, I actually don't even know. Probably. Well, is it is that like a column title? Oh, weapon art. Okay. What if the pebble makes enough noise to turn this enemy? I'm gonna try it. I suppose it does. Um, 
It's funny, I went to get Golden Vow and I didn't even put it on anything. Whoops. At least I have an Exalted Flesh. Oh, I kind of delayed that. Whoops. Oh, we shouldn't have. Uh, War, thanks so much for the donation, dude. I appreciate that. Um, I think the farm in Dark Souls 1 is better. The farm for what? Do I remember how to do this? Probably not, honestly. I don't remember. Oh, covenant items? I, I don't know. I've never done the farm in uh, DS1. Not sure. I think that was the right lineup, actually. It's... This always happens, dude. Or I come back to doing this skip, and I just... I don't remember... I don't remember the lineups I do. Because it's, it's usually, like, few and far between when I actually do this. No, well, I've done all achievements, no hit in Dark Souls 3, but not Dark Souls 1. And I have, honestly, I have no intention of ever doing it in Dark Souls 1. Oh my goodness, dude, what is happening? Use the damn keyboard. At least that lineup's good. Oh my god, how did I farce all so far down? It, it, that, that second jump is like timing. That's why, and I don't remember the timing very well, clearly. I should have gotten unseen form before this, dude. Here we go. I had to delay my second jump a bit more. The gods demand repentance. <laughs> Yo, Dan, as well. Thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it, dude. Okay, so. Let's, uh, 
So we killed Loretta. Let's just continue on the normal routing now. Normal routing. I don't think we could... I mean, turtlenecks aren't bad anywhere, but I don't think we really need it. It's all, See, isn't it a lot less painful to, to do a run like this, where the start of the run is 100% consistent, and then just, you know, you're not going to reset to pure RNG 15 minutes in? Eating shot consistent? Well, I only did it, did it like maybe five times, but it seemed like it was, so surely it is. If he survives, I like I'll probably save the run by just going to get uh rot pots like memory of grace out. Because we we actually already have Lake of Rot active at that point, so wouldn't be too much effort to just go get those and just save the run. Uh, we're attempting this here, I guess, Yordi. We we quickly went through testing some of the stuff earlier. And now we're doing the run. Guess we'll start by going over here. Uh, uh yeah, that's fine. If it's not nighttime, whoops. Actually, I, I don't think I really need to get the axe talisman for anything. There actually seems to be a small chance that you can get chased up the ladder. I, I think it happened the other day. I don't know if it was when I was doing the master run, but the, the master run is the first time I started doing this strat where I just gun it through. wrong with that guy that seemed to be very rare to get chased up here though and even if you do you just I mean you just blast the guy when he gets to the top all right we get that one Any mods in the YouTube chat? <laughs> I wanna... Blast that guy? Oh, uh, thanks, water, dude.
Dude, minus, minus six is nice. It's nice out today. I'd love to see that, dude. That I was in Vancouver. I am not in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm in Ottawa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, surely I'm in Texas, dude. With my good buddy Asmongold. <laughs> you slept before the run ends. Yep, you hate to see it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've stayed up that late to finish a run, dude. It's been a long time. End Moog Spear Run? Uh, what does that mean? End it. plan is to we'll do this one we'll probably do another any percent and then we'll go moog spear i'm not really a ufc guy look at the beast torch i guess even though i'm sure i need it for something but you know what though maybe i don't because we already went through the other four we don't need it in the sewer i i I'm, there's got to be something that i'm forgetting you always need the beast torch, dude. Oh, um, we we didn't finish routing it yet, no. Kept saying it'd be a short stream. Oh, right, the summer five. Yeah, true, true, true. I guess that'd be another reason why to get a different summer five. Did I say it would be a short stream? I don't. I didn't think I said that. Maybe I did. Let me think of where else the Beast Torch is used. There's I don't I don't know if we need the Beast Torch, man. I'm saying it every five minutes. That it, what it was gonna be a short stream. Today's gonna be a short stream. That's what I've been saying it. Today's a short stream for sure. Maybe, I don't know. Have I ever seen so many players get 10 minutes of misconduct? I didn't even watch the game. I only heard about it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess I'm going to get this um, thing up here for the cave. Rats before sewer. Oh, true, actually. Yeah, that is true. Okay, yeah, for sure we need it there. I knew there was going to be somewhere. True. Yeah, I, I, I do remember saying at some points that I wasn't sure if I was going to finish the run. I do remember that. That's what you mean. Summer 5 without torch? No, we, I mean, we got the torch. I was just trying to think if we could have, you know. Oh. No way, right? That's crazy. How did that happen? I... How did that happen, dude? I've done this such an absurd number of times, and I haven't seen that strat not work properly. Uh, let's go from here. Are you guys talking about ban? With languages and stuff, I honestly don't care if people talk in other languages, but... Like, most streamers don't like it because, you know, they can't understand it, and... Like, I, I don't care. As long as you're not, you know, <laughs> like saying, I don't know. As long as you're, like, if you're having a conversation with somebody else in some other language, I actually just don't care. But, yeah, if you start saying stupid shit, then that's a problem.
Yeah, I don't, that's the good question <laughs> above water. I guess, I don't know. Some Usually someone will, like, translate it or something. And, and I, I don't know. Like, usually someone will know. And, and they can say it, but... I'll give you the best not ever. Yeah, as long as it's as long as, as long as it's nothing bad, then it's totally fine. <laughs> oh, uh, pillows! Thanks for the uh, twenty-three month resub, dude. Man, I love War Robots. <laughs> the worst sponsor I've ever done, man. That was painful. I, dude, I like R RSL ads, man. I, well, I mean, sponsored segments. I, cause I, the, I understand the game and stuff. But yeah, that yeah, was definitely before your time, Hunter, dude. That would have been like three years ago. Or, yeah, or at least two years ago. But yeah, that was the that I taught me a valuable lesson to you know test what I'm going to be playing on stream before I do it <laughs> because because yeah they 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 made me play for two hours and it was honestly like the least it's I think it's supposed to be like some sort of action game kind of but it was so fucking slow and it was just a bunch of bots and it was oh dude it was bad it was pretty rough dude it was the longest two hours of my life probably How much did I earn from that? Definitely not enough. <laughs> Definitely not enough. That's for sure. I, I don't remember, though. It wouldn't have been a lot. This also had a time where my stream was a lot smaller. And I wasn't even full-time streaming or anything. Um, which... I guess this way makes sense, right? Sort of. Gotta go around the long way. Uh, I like Sekiro way more, honestly, because Sekiro runs well. If Bloodborne ran well, then, um, then that would be, I would be pretty even on them, actually, but. <laughs> Still don't have a universal language. I don't think there uh, needs to be one. Well, I mean, I guess they're like kind of. If you want to sound like a nerd, you could just say like math is or something, but that's what the nerd would say. Simply talking math, dude. Easy. So I have 10k. What should I do with it? Should I just dump some levels in? What? Okay, wait a second. This is... This isn't right. Oh, no, we don't even do this yet. Man, what am I doing? We're just down here to get the grace. I think. I'm pretty sure this is what I did last time. Pretty sure this is not what I did last time, man.
Clearly I'm not lost. <laughs> totally lost, dude. <laughs> I didn't remember the path that I was supposed to take there. Surely by now I've done it. Funny how it doesn't really fade in, it just pops right in. <laughs> I guess they, they probably thought people would not do this order. Okay, so we got on C4. And now... what? We have the weapon. I guess we'll go down here now. Get all of our runes. Let's get the somber seven. Wait, also when I'm dude, somebody mentioned it too. When I was testing, I, I only did plus <laughs> I only did plus six, didn't I? What am I doing, dude? Somebody even said, and I, I kinda just didn't even know what they were talking about. They're like, why not go plus nine? We, we get the Severn here, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we were talking about the sewer and all that stuff. Okay, well, at least I realized how stupid I am. So it's going to be even more broken than what we saw. It actually makes this route more viable, though, I would say. Twenty-five, thirty dollar $30 price the DLC will cost. I, I think, we, we've talked about this the other day, I think it will be more expensive than a normal DLC for a game. But it'll easily be worth it, I think. Yeah, we I was saying it would be like 40 to 50, because the, the, whole, the rumor is that it's going to be two DLCs combined into one. Or, or who knows, actually, maybe they release it in two parts. Maybe that's the better way to do it. I never actually even thought about that. But yeah, maybe they'll release just like two at the same time, right? I don't know if I don't know if that's been done before, but
<laughs> a DLC bigger than base game. <laughs> Imagine, dude. It's actually just Elden Ring 2. That's it. Eight, nine, Lake of Ra we're, we're, Of course, we're just going to get the Dragon Barrel one. Um, I don't really know what's happening here. It's kind of the annoying thing of not having Assassin's Gambit. I'm a little concerned for these guys, actually. I'm not... Here's what I'll do. I believe this guy paths. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for him to path across. Just kidding, he doesn't. Oh fuck, I don't kill him in one hit. Um, why are you running? Stop running. Probably should have tested this better before we did this, but. Fuck. What should I have done next time? For this part? Because... <laughs> I don't really like how this is gone. Probably should have just reposted him there. Well, hopefully I will survive here. Oh yeah, I could use Pebble, actually, but... That was such a disaster. What if there's any... There's no Sovereign Fives down here, though, is there? Alright, we got the weapon, you guys. So... Go to EG, I guess. Spend all these runes. As many as I can. We have 2,000, and I guess... Can I level up a bit? Just trying to, just trying to optimize my runes here. Because we're going to Memory of Grace in this next section. So we're just going straight to plus 9, I guess. We're just going straight to plus 9. Alright, let's make sure I have the Beast Torch out. How many times have I read it with this weapon? Uh, I guess once. I think this run is pretty well well showcasing the, the downside of using Unseen Form over Assassin's Gambit. Like, making noise is a pretty big deal.
Why is he so fast? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Holy shit, this guy's an Olympic sprinter, dude. Uh, Oat Gub, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, dude. Okay, well, uh, so look at that, you guys. We got five, six, seven. Straight to plus nine. We're here. This is this is actually something I don't really like about the somber routes that we do. And I kind of um I don't know what I, I didn't wanna spend as much effort trying to get to plus nine on these routes with the somber weapons as early as possible because it's kind of cheesy, right? And when you compare that to the smithing stone routes, you, you don't have an equivalent option really. Unless you want to go to Mogwin, but even even then, I guess not really Mogwin, but. You just can't do the same thing, and so I kind of liked staying at a lower upgrade to have a more equal comparison with the smithing stone weapons versus somber weapons, but I guess this one we're getting plus nine because it actually makes sense. Yeah, and that's that's plus nine just like that, dude. So Well then I presume. I think we only got to plus three, right? Plus nine. Um, so what else? We can get the magic. Or we could get the intelligence tier here, but I, I'm almost hesitant to get it because I don't even think we need it. Um, I will put Golden Vow on this though, I guess. We can go to round table and put it on the dagger. It makes more sense. No, we are using Howl, yeah. But we, we're not going to use Howl before Godric's, though. Of course. We also do need this one. Okay, I think uh, I think we're good to go. We just got to get to the stat requirements. Two int and five decks, which hopefully we can hit. Will this leave me with enough faith to get to 13? I'm not sure. Might just put a couple, like maybe we just get to 13 now. We're, we're plus nine, dude. We don't need more damage. Yeah, that'll be fine. It's not optimal, but. Yeah, I guess we could get the interior. I just, I kind of don't feel like getting it. Oh, yeah, so let's go get the magic tier, though, for sure. And Howl. Uh, do I have, I don't have crafting yet. Shit, and I just spent all my runes. Ah, oh, dude, why did I do that? Go kill Knight's Cavalry. We need some more runes. Or oh, the crafting gets only 300, right? Or something. How much do we have? Surely enough. Even I can also let you not learn wine. I am Carl. We just need some fire pots. Ah, no, 
only one butterfly, dude. God damn it, man. Why don't I think about this more? I've literally crossed by so many butterflies. There's easily... There's numerous I could have picked up, I know. Let's get these, though. Ah, oh, bastard. Um, I don't think nighttime matters here, right? I only have one cracked pot, <laughs> so is this a problem? Can I recraft after I throw the first one? Actually, I have no idea. I can still craft now. Feels like it's been so long since I've done this stuff, man. I don't know why. It's like it's been forever since I've done some of this stuff. Okay, well, we got Howl. And now it is time for the Avatar. We, de we definitely can get... We definitely can get the Intelligence tier, but it's, it's literally only for Margit and Godric. Which feels not that important. I guess, nah, I'm, I mean. Might do a Kukri strat here, actually. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, just, let's just Golden Vow. I only have two Kukris. Okay, not a good idea. Let's just kill him. You should stun here. Okay. Well, the tower counts as a hit, even if it doesn't... Well... The way that tower works, it deals damage to you, regardless of if it does build up. Like, it just, when it does build up, it also does damage, that tower specifically. So, in that case, yeah, like, you take damage from it, which counts as a hit. Yeah, for statuses, normally, for the actual status part, it, it usually only counts when it procs. It just, in that case, the tower also just deals damage, so... All right, market time.
<laughs> well. Yep. That's what happens. The life of Marga, dude. Not a good one. I love how when you do this, he just he gets interrupted by Gostok. I bought the bow, right? Okay, good. Uh, this would definitely be good for Rikard, um, in phase one. But phase two, of course, you'd have to go into the lava. Yeah, this would be amazing for Rikard phase one, though. At least I think so. Uh, let's just do this running section, then we'll go, we'll, then we'll go take out Gillica. I only have two. Hopefully that's enough, man. Like, this, this is basically just using the cuckeries that we got at the very start of the game, and that's all we've got. Is, that's that's part of the reason why I like to go get the academy key and go through there a lot of the time. Is because you don't have to like there's a there's a pickup there, so you don't really have to worry so much. But I do I I have just enough here, but I I don't know if I need more throughout the run or not. I guess in a lot of ways, the back way through this area is, is a lot... It definitely is a lot comfier, man. The, that Asmongold run was the first run I ever did that. It's pretty comfy, dude, but... Obviously, it's much slower. Just drink, I guess. No, I've never played Elden Ring. I heard it sucks, though. And it's way too easy of a game, is what I've heard, so I, I don't play easy games. Guess I should have pulled this lever and then went to get that. I think I, I'll get the pots here. Because we I didn't start the game out with any, which maybe was a mistake. Or I guess I, I guess I can just buy them from Kale though. Maybe that's what I should have done earlier. I guess I won't get these then. Because we've restocked on some cuckeries though. Um, we don't need to level up, dude. He's gonna get destroyed. And then, and then, yeah, right after this, we're gonna get access to Howl, and it's basically game over for the game. 
Not for me. Or surely not for me. Actually, not sure if this would be fast enough doing this. See if I can do an R2 here. can quite reach him. I probably could have killed him right there, actually. <laughs> I, I mean, for sure, plus nine would easily kill him there, but... We'll just play it a bit safer. And one day, we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of cold. <laughs> yeah, very tough game, dude. But yeah, this is also, again, you know, this is why I kind of wanted to stay away from doing the plus nine routes at this point in time. You know, but uh, it just it makes too much sense on this route to get a plus nine because the somber seven's right there. But with with a lot of other routes, it 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 doesn't make sense to get a seven before the capital because yeah, because you gotta you know go through volcano manor or like kill noble or something. And since these are run requests, we're never gonna kill Rikard ever, unless someone requests a serpent hunter, which I wouldn't do. So. We're, we're literally never going to be killing Rikard, and so we just never have to go through Volcano Manor and kill Noble. And then that's like Volcano Manor and Volcano Manor is the somber seven that makes the most sense overall for, for any percent runs. But but even even if we even if we just stay up plus six, it's still not a fair comparison, right? Because Mostly on the smithing stone runs, I just get a plus 12. Because that's the most efficient way to do it. And so a plus 12 would be more equivalent to a plus 4. But it just it's so easy to get a plus 6 though, right? But I guess I could just do plus 4 instead on those somber weapons. But then where would you get the 5 and 6 though? Like that's... Where would 5 and 6 be on the way? I guess there's probably a bunch in here. But, I mean, Old Delta's Tunnel really isn't that far out of the way. I don't know. All right, yeah, we're going to get this. And we are going to start using Howl, which is an extra 25% damage. I'm going to get a bunch of intelligence now. Don't do Noble Skip. I kind of just like fighting Noble, I think. But, yeah, I definitely could do the Noble Skip. But I would never, I would never go all the way there just for a somber seven. I, I, I'd rather just go plus six. I would only get that somber seven if I was going through Volcano Manor, anyways. Oh yeah, there is the five outside of Redan, dude. A good point, actually. Maybe I, I it, it is a little slow. Maybe. Not that slow, though. Hmm. I think it would have been cool if it was inside Verdan. It would have been just like in Slave Knight Gale. There's that ring knight at the back of the arena. Or I guess more close to the front of the arena. Drops a slab. I think that was really cool. And then you could have him and Gale blasting you at the same time. Gale technically a duo boss, dude. Kinda. Not really. A multi-enemy boss, you could say. Uh, if you want the song name, exclamation mark song. No one knows what they're doing for his playthrough? That is true. I don't know what that's a response to, but that is true. What's definitely true as well, though, is if you're um, if you're fine with searching stuff up, like say you're having a really hard time through the game and you just search up how to do stuff, then the games become much easier. Or like, 
obviously they do, but they become easy to a point where like they get trivialized, which I kind of also like. Right, this this the no hit runs I do is a good example. If if you searched up a route like this, um, I guess we'll go from here. If you searched up, you know, if you were stuck and you're like, okay, I just I want to beat the game, but I don't want to be struggling like this. You could search up a route, get yourself a, mac a high upgraded weapon, and just mow the game down if you wanted to, and and that that could be more fun for some people. Uh, faith is for Howl. Which we'll start using here. Yeah, that's, that's one of the good things about these games, I think. And that's basically what I did in my first playthrough of DS3. It's basically that. Now, I, I didn't search up how to get the most optimal upgrades, but I searched up where the items were in the area so I didn't miss anything. And, uh... Like, search up how to get through stuff. Mostly just maps. But, but still. Uh, I can't remember if this guy hears you. Other ring tells you nothing, so you have to search things out. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to complete everything, then you do. I wonder how much it pains people that I sit here and don't open this chest. There's always those people that just get upset because I don't pick up every item. They see it and they and I don't pick it up and they get annoyed by that. Imagine a chest is much worse. Uh, it's the strength talisman. <laughs> Open the chest and not pick up the item. Dude, that's mean as hell. I'm totally going to start doing that. Although most most runs can use that talisman, though. Like, a, a lot of runs can use that talisman. So I, I usually pick it up. But just this one, I don't. Well, actually, I mean, maybe not. Probably all the run requests I've done this year, I haven't needed that. Alright, we got Howl now. So, you can... Is the earliest you can get the Spellblade set? Is that... Uh... Is that after you burn the Erd Tree? Or can you get it before that? I mean, I'm just gonna get it after I burn the Erd Tree, but... Oh, did I? Oh, you, oh, thank you, actually. Oops. That would have been bad. Yeah, Roger said, yeah. Like, what's, how do you, what's the, what's the earliest you can get that? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can get it earlier somehow. I just don't know how. Or repair update. I actually did see it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, boy. But no, there's still no way, right? I, I think... It's actually... It's really... It's really unfortunate, dude, because... Like, whatever he did... Is gonna tarnish his career. Yeah, he might have been doing some, like... Like, who knows, man? Who, who fucking knows what he could have done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Go chat with Roger. Yeah, you can. You can get the rapier after that, but you can't get his armor there, can you? I don't know. Maybe he was... I, I don't know, because... 
Some people are saying he was like doing some drugs or something like that. Would that probably would that be enough for a team to release him? I I don't know. It depends, maybe. But I I doubt it. I don't think that's true. So I, I just have no idea. Nobody does, anyway. So <laughs> yeah. Well, banging someone's some teammate's mom would be enough, probably. Yeah. That would be enough. All right, dude. So I should have enough for Howell here. There it is. Honestly, don't like this opening anymore. I used to prefer getting it, but I, I'm I'm like this. I like the other openings better. That one scares me. Also, get absolutely destroyed. See, so imagine you're on your first playthrough and you're searching up things how to get through the game, and you end up with this build. You'd probably be a higher level than 36. Maybe, maybe. I'll give you the you best would clear ever. the game so easily, right? <laughs> you know, and I, I think that's that's a nice part about these games, dude, because that's the case for all the Souls games. And so I like that you know people can have the option. That's the easy mode that everyone wants, kind of. Oh, this is plus nine. A uh, sleeping giant. Thanks for the brand new sub, dude. But yeah, we're, the reason we're plus nine here is because the wing of Estelle is very close to a somber seven, so it just it makes too much sense to not. It, may, it makes too much sense to upgrade to plus nine on this one, even though I kind of, I was describing earlier, I, I don't really like doing it too much because it's not like a fair comparison to other weapons that I haven't been getting as highly upgraded, especially smithing stone ones. But yeah. All right, uh, which... I should have gotten this grace here for the starlight shard. Because we're going to, I think that's the next talisman that we're going to get. So, I'm just going to go get this one, man. We need two Starlight Shards. Well, we could get a plus 10. I mean, we know how. That's that's actually the first no-hit run that I've ever done that Mogwin quest line for. First one. Does he play Sekiro? Well, I mean, you could also just search up how to like the correct patterns on how to fight bosses, right? And knowing knowing that would make the game significantly easier as well. I think almost to an to a, a higher degree than Souls games, right? Depending on the fight. But if I knew on my first playthrough that for Sword Saint Ishin, the best way to take care of him would be, you know, like R1 parry, R1 parry, R1 parry, then I would have killed him so much more quickly. Gonna get out of here. I'm not sure if there's a guy coming after me. All right, so that's the first one. And the second one, yeah, I really should have gotten the grace here because that would have been the next fastest one. This one here. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till the Urtree burns. Yeah, jinx. I mean, that's the, that's the only way I know how to get it like 100% for sure. Probably when I do that big playthrough before the DLC comes out and I do an all quest lines character, then I, I'm sure there's some quest line where he dies earlier, but I just don't know it.
go get the Amber Starlight Shard. I forget if there's enemies where the Star Amber Starlight Shard is, or if I can just fast travel immediately. Yeah, well, if you're already killing Loretta on a route, then getting the Magic Scorpion Charm, it really isn't too big of a deal. Because that's it. That's literally everything we've done so far. That's basically it. And then we just got to go talk to the guy. And like quit out maybe once or something. We we do have to go discover his, you know, cellar, right? Or something. Is that true? You have to go to that underground secret room. But the only thing that scares me is I know there's a mage there. There's a, one of those teleporting mages there. I stream, uh, I guess, full-time, Silo. Form of game it. It's just because I don't need to go to Volcano Manor at all. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. He's still, yeah, he doesn't follow down, but I'm still scared of him. Uh, Captain Cloak, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Maybe, maybe. Um, I believe I'll it's up here. Nut ever. I wonder if you just use this, sh like, do you have to read this message or I, I don't even know how this works, man. Honestly, I don't know. I've done this numerous times and I still don't know what actually is the trigger for Saluvis to move. Yeah, see that fucker mage? break the illusory wall it'd be nice to know because if i had the shackle on some run then like maybe you just don't even have to go down there the message seems to make more sense to me though oh read message only okay yeah that, that sounds about right i guess I, even all that being said this talisman like I was saying how it doesn't actually take that long. It kind of does, man, because I forgot you got to do all this part too. And it's not even that much extra damage, but... What am I doing? Oh, I just totally screwed myself. Now I won't be able to get down here. Oh, just kidding. I yes, I, I don't know what since I asked. And yeah, we're also going to get the other talisman associated with this anyway, so I guess it's like a two-in-one. Two-in-one. I, I, I'm pretty certain I could have dropped down from there, but I, I don't know. Did you not read? Uh, Perhaps I, I'd like you to find even you. Now I shall 
And so now, now we gotta go give this to Gideon, right? Is he the fastest one to give it to? Uh, Captain Cloud, thanks for giving out a sub as well, dude. And I think he has to move first. Um, who they're just playing tonight? I don't know, man. Oh, it doesn't matter, even. No one cares about you, man. Is that what he said? Oh, but, oh. Good. You go and see. Just tell him this part now is inevitable. Okay, there we go. I wish they'd just put a Grace in Saluvis's power. It's so annoying. I gotta run back. Oh, Gold Knights? I mean, Gold Knights have been sucking lately, so I would say Oilers win, probably. I feel like Golden Knights have lost most of their recent games. I'm pretty sure you can jump down here, you guys. Not, yeah, it's not even far. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the teams that have been had such a good start to the season are now starting to crumble a little, a little bit, dude. Boston, Vancouver, Golden Knights. They're kind of crumbling a bit, dude. I believe it's jaw right, correct? The one on the right? Um, and now I think I quit out. Okay, we're about to win 10 a row. Maybe. I don't know. I've been watching the last few games. They haven't looked great for the most part. Yeah, I mean, losing the Sharks, dude. But yeah, now the Sharks are moving up, dude. The, the whole league is equalizing. I have to quit out again. What's happening here? No, you don't have to buy spells. There we go. But I'm afraid I can Why don't you... If you... The soul of it... And once... Oh, yes. I think we got we might have to quit again. Just kidding. Yep. Elden Ring quest. Average Elden Ring quest line. Put out twice. There it is. Okay. Uh so let's go to EG. Agreed for later. Man, I'm why am I so tired today, you guys? It's because we were up late and gaming last night, dude. Spent too much on gaming. Uh, so what have you done so far? Silver Dan. Guess we'll go to the capital now. Yep, classic Fextra telling the wrong info. I'm, I'm almost wondering if we should just fight the Sentinel, dude. Because we're going to have so much damage now. Like, or he's probably going to get scripted by this because we're plus nine. And most of the other runs I've done, we kill the Sentinel long before this. I guess the only concern is that it might be very inconsistent at hitting him. Protect from light. Does that help you not get tired? I don't... I think just not sleeping is the problem. I thought those glasses were just to protect your eyes from, like, blue light or whatever. But no, I, I've just been streaming a lot lately, dude. I... Not sure how many hours I've streamed in the last, like, seven days or so, but... Like, I, I streamed every day on the weekend. 
Streamed 11 hours yesterday. Streamed 14 hours the other day. And we've just been streaming a lot. I don't think I need that grace. Yeah, and I wasn't, I, I honestly wasn't even going to stream today, but I kind of wanted to. Because it was already late, so I was like, well, maybe I just, just chill out the rest of the day, but. I'm going to get more runs, dude. Yeah, she's been, she's been busy with other stuff. The last bit. So I've had some more time to play games. Already at an hour and a half, dude. This run's taking forever <laughs> because I had no idea what I was doing. It should be a bit smoother from here on out, though, now that we've got set up. But yeah, this is this is similar to how the, the Moonvale route should have been. If you guys remember, the Moonvale was one of the first run request no hit runs I did last year. But at the time, I didn't have... I didn't have the experience or the route to just come into a run and I, I did get a first try without routing it, but I didn't um like it wasn't optimized at all. I didn't get the magic tier, I didn't get howl, I I didn't do any of that stuff, man. Just because I didn't I didn't know how, basically. And so we're at a point now where I don't really need to test scripts for boss fights because I, I just fight them. And I have enough game knowledge to just route things on the fly. So this is this is the right... We're in the right spot now, dude, for sure. This is good, because then... I should be able to just get so many run requests a day now, as long as the weapon's not garbage. Just like back in DS3 days, man. Back in DS3 days, I would do like three no-hit runs a day. With different r weapons and stuff. DS3 also was simpler, though. There's no Gideon in DS3. Which is uh, actually a huge consideration. Because there's you don't have to test any scripts in DS3. All, all you need to do is know how to fight them with... The specific weapon. Know the openings, and then... Um, what should I do here, you guys? Maybe I'll take him to the edge, just in case. I'll take him to the edge. Or should we go behind him and start blasting? I'd rather not reset if for no reason if I die. Let's just see what happens. We kind of suck if I imagine I die here though. We should have so much damage. It's just it's it's really just more a question of is this Ash of War good on this guy? Um, there's our answer. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I mean, we're plus nine. We have crazy buffs. So it's it's not... <laughs> I, I just wasn't sure how many times it's going to hit him. I, I, was, I, I was just worried he was going to sidestep it and I was going to miss a bunch of hits or whatever. I hear that's another thing I should stop doing is is fighting Dr Draconic Sentinel right at the start of every run because that's what that's what I've been doing because it, it honestly is the more efficient thing to do. It just it's just kind of boring at the start of runs though, right? Because you got to run all the way there, cheese them off the cliff, and that's how you get your early game runes. It is it is very efficient because you got to kill them anyways, right? Versus doing something like Draconic Sentinel or not Draconic Sentinel. 
the Knight's Cavalry or killing, um, you know, Bell Bearing Hunter or something like that. It is more efficient, but it just, it feels like it's a lot slower because you just got to run all the way there first. Uh, for Loretta, I just use square off on a broad, on a long sword. Is there for 10 minutes? Yeah, it is kind of funny that uh, he has this big startup animation. I wonder why they did that. Or you get you 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 honestly probably get a good eight sec. Uh, yeah, probably like eight seconds to just wail on him before he does anything. Yeah, <laughs> surely, Jordan. Surely, dude. Scroff is better than Unsheath. Um, I I like it better. I, it's hard to say if it is better though. They're both really good. I do think un I honestly think Square Off is underrated though. You might aggro to me here. Yeah, I would say I would say Square Off's underrated. Everybody knows how good Unsheath is, but for Square Off. Slightly worse version, but why is it? I don't think it's worse though. Because maybe, yeah, maybe it, it's slower, right? So it has less DPS for sure. There's no question about it. But it has way more poise damage. Not maybe not way more, but you know, 30 on an unsheath R2 versus 40 on a square off R2. That's a huge difference, right? When you're poise breaking more than half the boss in the game with two hits, that's kind of insane. But Unsheath also does attack quicker. So I I I, I don't know. I, I think Unsheath is probably more able to stunlock bosses. Well, they both can, but I don't know, man. Uh when was Unsheath nerfed? I don't remember it getting nerfed. Square off is more FP efficient now. Yeah, for sure. Did quite a bit less FP. Plus 25 heavy broadsword with square off. I mean, yeah, I, I really wish that I didn't lose the VOD of the Kane Sword run because the Kane Sword is one of the weakest straight swords in the game. If not the weakest. Like, I think it's even worse than the Weathered Straight Sword. Or it's, it's very close to it. And that no hit run that I did with it, which, again, I, I, I accidentally... Forgot to highlight it, because Twitch is annoying. That run was so easy with Square Off, it was unreal. I couldn't even believe it, dude. Just, you know, and the damage was not even good, because it was the worst straight sword. It just is not a good straight sword to use. Just low damage compared to the other ones. But it was still one of the easiest runs, because the poise damage is just so crazy. Wow. <laughs> 3,000, dude. See you later. Dang, this build is actually just so dumb, man. And I like how we don't have any useless talismans on either. I kind of like that. But a lot of the time when I do these runs, it's very efficient to just not fill a couple talisman slots, right? But on this, we actually can fill everything with a, with a useful talisman. Oh, I, I like normal tree sentinels far more than draconic sentinel. 
Okay, we did not test Morgoth with this. So hopefully... I remember this. To fight the boss. I should be able to just instantly do... Look at this. Windows 11, you guys. Windows 11 moment right here. Windows 11 moment. So annoying, man. I gotta fix that. Um, what should I do here, man? If I wanted to be really safe, I could have gotten the shackle on this run. I'm not, I'm not sure if I could just go in and immediately do uh, Nash of War. I kind of want to try it, though. I'll just... Uh... Wow, he's almost dead. <laughs> I, I didn't even see his health bar going down. I wasn't really looking. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't see. I, I wasn't looking, but when I when I did eventually look down, he was already at half <laughs> HP. And I, I don't even know if that first Ash of War really got him. I think it might have hit him once or something, but... Good lord, you guys. I knew this weapon was insane. Like, so th this actually isn't shocking. But what's so good about this weapon is... Um, it's so versatile, right? It's so quick. But I knew it would be this good. Um, what I'm gonna do though, you guys, I, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go eat. And. And I'll be back in a couple minutes, you guys. And then we'll, you know, hopefully we just get this run today. We should be able to. Um, I will probably end fairly soon. Like, if, if I get hit or if we get the run, because. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm meant to help ED route some DS1 no hit, so. Like, that won't be on stream, though. Like, I'll just go on her stream. I'll end my stream. But anyways, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to eat, and then uh, we'll continue this run.
Okay, thanks for winning, guys. <clears throat> Um, where are we going? Balcony? Uh, yeah, secure is probably worth the money. I mean, how much is it? I would say so. But yeah, you also... You're less likely to get more playtime out of Skiro compared to the other Souls games, but... Or com yeah, compared to the Souls games, but, uh, still worth it. I, well, I don't know if I'd say Secure is the most complete FromSoft game, but I would say that it's the most, um... It's the most well executed from soft game that I've played. Also, apparently my chat's disconnecting. Or why? What is this message I see? But but I think there's a reason for that. I think it's due in part because it's just a simpler game overall. There's way less balancing considerations in Sekiro. Um. Because there's no builds, right? It's just the katana, and you can really focus on the movesets of the enemies based around one singular build instead of trying to count for so many others. What is this message I'm getting here? Weird. So yeah, I think it's the best executed game. Like, for what they were trying to go for in Sekiro, I think they nailed it almost perfectly. But at the same time, it's also a much less ambitious game. And, uh, so. So, yeah, I mean, that being said, it's an amazing game and it's worth playing for sure. But that's, that's, how, that's why I think it is the best executed game that they've made. Well, it depends what you mean by replayability, because in my mind, it definitely is not even close. But a lot of people argue that it is more replayable even than Elden Ring, because it's it's easier to get back into it, I guess. You know, like easier to just start like a, whoops, start another run. Whereas in Elden Ring, people feel like they need to, you know, explore the areas again and do all this stuff. So some people think it's it's more replayable. I think it's for sure easily less. But it just depends what you, what that means to you. Because in my mind, at least what I'm looking for for replayability means that a game has a lot of, you know, ways of playing it, basically. And for me, a, a lot of extra content also means it's more replayable, but yeah, not everybody thinks the same way. Because for this, I mean, this is a perfect, perfect example. There's no chance I would be able to do runs like this in Sekiro. I just couldn't because there's no, you have basically one way to play the game. And so you just do that, right? Obviously, there's there's more than one way to play the game, and there's combat arts. There's still some variety in it. But it's not the same as a Souls game. So, so yeah, I mean, some people find it's more replayable because it's so easy to jump back in it, right? Which is true. I would say that's true. Because you just, you know, you, if you want to start a new character, or, or you, it's not really a new character, but if you want to just play the game again, you just... Pop right in, jump right into the, the combat and all the action. You don't have to do any setup. You don't have to... Like, it's very quick to get to the bosses, and... So if that's what you care about the, the most, then that'll be good. But yeah, for me personally, that isn't what replayability is to me. 
and I, I like having a bunch of different builds to experiment with. I like having a bunch of different routes through the game that are possible. And so that's why DS2 and Elden Ring... Like, and that's important to me, and, and that's why for me DS2 and Elden Ring are my favorite Souls games. Because they have more of that stuff, and like more content. More stuff to go through to go through more variations and ways that you could beat the game. Well, the history is good too, but there's 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 not multiple routes of completing the game. There's not the same amount of optional content that you could do. And and what's cool in a game like Elden Ring is, you know, there's a bunch of catacombs and caves and stuff. A lot of times you don't have to go through them. Like it's sort of what you do on your first playthrough. But Beyond your first playthrough, let's say I, I'm trying to make a build, right? What, what's an example? Um, let's just say I'm trying to make a multi-hit build. That means I have to go to a cave in the start of Leernia. I forget the cave's name. Kill that clean rot knight. And so that's that's a part of that's a piece of content where I don't have to go through it usually, but depending on my build, I might want to get that talisman, and so I might be incentivized to go in there. And, you know, I might want to go get the, the, the Millicent quest. But then there's other runs I can do, like a sorcery build, where maybe sorcery is a bad example because it actually could use that talisman, but with, with Slicer. But if I want to do an incantation build, it's going to look completely different than that. Right? And uh, and I can also take a different route through the game in terms of the, at least the, the Great Rune bosses I've killed. Which, it's nice to have some options there. There's not as many options as you have in DS2, really, but it's more... More intuitive options, I guess. And so I, I, I like that. I, I like that I have so many options and how to get through because I like routing stuff, right? I've made that clear. And so in a game like Sekiro, there's really very few routing options you have. Like you, you have to do the same content every time. It's going to look very similar every time. And so I'm, I'm just not into that, dude. I don't want to do, do the same thing over and over and over again. So, so for me, 100%, the Souls games, I like them overall more than Sekiro. But, again, for what Sekiro is, it's executed perfectly. I think a first playthrough of Sekiro is so good. Like, that's just on the topic of replayability, really. Why I think... <clears throat> why I think it's not as replayable as the Souls games are. Especially Elden Ring and DS2. I've played Hades. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to Hades 2, which I'm not sure when that's supposed to come out, but. Yeah, that was one of the rare games I've played just like off stream when I was, you know, not streaming. Not playing a Souls game. Well, yeah, somebody asked me Sekiro vs. Bloodborne earlier today. Obviously, for replayability, I like Bloodborne more. But one thing that's very important is, to me is the performance of a game. I actually don't even care that much about how a game looks, necessarily. The better it looks, that's great. But if a game looks like absolute garbage, that's not a deal-breaker for me at all. That being said, performance of a game, especially an action game like this... That's, that's a deal breaker for me, dude. Bloodborne's still a good game, but... The FPS cap and the performance issues of the game really drag it down for me. And that's basically the only reason why it's my least favorite of the FromSoft games that I've played. And I, everyone always is like, dude, how could you not like Bloodborne? It's not that I don't like it. I do, but that's why it's my least favorite. I'm gonna, like, fall asleep on the bridge again, man. It's like the marathon. Just three runs worse on PS4. I mean, Bloodborne is, is limited to 30 FPS. And if you're running it on a standard PS4, you are not getting 30 FPS for an absolute fact. I know because I did my no-hit run on a standard PS4 the first time. 
And dude, I I would basically on average you probably get about 23 FPS. It's it's horrible. It's really bad. PS5 is much better. Obviously, but even then, dude, there's still the, the FPS cap, which is a huge thing. And um and yeah, it's still not even perfectly consistent on, on a lot of the boss fights, so. So yeah, for me, it doesn't matter how god tier a game is, dude. It could be the the best, you know, the best bosses ever made. It could be the best areas have ever made. It could be all this stuff, but if a game runs like dog shit, then I'm not going to like it as much. There's just, there's no way around it. If it's an action game, which these games are like you. Oh, uh, let's go buy the crackpots. So that, that is a pretty pretty big deal for me, though. It's basically my, my point. And maybe I sound like... I'm, I'm sure some people would say I'm sounding like a toddler or something saying that, but... But, but yeah, when you, when you take in all the things into, into consideration that I like about these games, right? I like doing no-hit runs on these games. I don't like playing them casually as much. So when I'm doing no hit runs and routing challenge runs, performance is that much more important. Right? I, I, I can't do no hit runs on a game that's inconsistent FPS and tons of eaten inputs and all that stuff. Right, so that, that you know, it, it goes into what I was explaining about earlier, what I like about these games so much and how I don't like them casually nearly as much. And so, uh, well, well, the game didn't come out in 2023, right? It came out in 2015, right? But But still, though. Like, there's a good explanation for why it is apt and stuff. But it doesn't mean it makes it really any better. I'm going to put the filigree in this slot. Um, I think so. We're going to sleep Fire Giant. Maybe I should sleep him in phase two. I guess we'll see once I get there. I'm only going to sleep him in phase one. That was a little interesting. In a bad way. Okay, so we stunned. I'm just gonna sleep him again here, because he's stunned. We should be able to get a stun again, hopefully. Hopefully not too late here, though. <laughs> nice, dude. Beautiful. Oh, I had a bunch of runes to level, level up with there. Beautiful script. It's, it's one. I, I probably would have been better off doing R1s to the ankle thing at the start to get that first break. That would have been the better play there. Just because it, it was it's kinda hard to hit the right spot with this Ash of War. But yeah, once once that happens, I mean, yeah, he's toast. <laughs> well, yeah, the thumbnail <laughs> the thumbnail on YouTube is uh I, I'm on I'm lazy, right? I just I just use the same thumbnail that it just says run a quest on it basically. You just gotta read the title.
<laughs> yeah, right. I'm asking a lot, dude. Read the title. Brutal. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, 68 intelligence, level 69, of course. Elon tweets about... <laughs> you think... Do you think there's a chance that if I tweet at him about it, that he would see it? I don't know, dude. I feel like he's a busy guy. That'd be so funny. Imagine that, man. <clears throat> Elon shout out. I mean, didn't he did go on a podcast recently? Um, Lex Friedman, right? And he was talking about how good Elden Ring was. So it's obviously still in his mind. <laughs> So, shall, sh should we do a plus nine? I think we should do a plus nine Malketh, dude. I, I, I kind of don't feel like going through the bird section on this. Yeah, I slept God's can do on the Asmund run. <clears throat> I caved in. I think it was the right decision, honestly. Like, it, I don't think it cheapens the run at all. I mean, I'm still satisfied with it. And yeah, I think that, like, that's... There's no chance, I don't think, that when we do runs like that in the future, that I, there's no way I'm going to be able to 100% stick to the build that they use the entire time. Or I like I probably could, but it would just it would be tedious at that point, you know, if I started not using you know Assassin's Gambit and and uh not using Val the Indomitable on a boss like Red Wolf or Rykard. Like it would just it would not be it would suck. And it doesn't sound interesting to me, so <clears throat> I'd rather just You know, I actually can't remember what I do for this guy. Uh if I just run off, will he aggro? Yeah, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do there. That's one of the, the negatives of Unseen Form right there, is that he can hear you landing. What did I do for that guy? Maybe I just jumped. Maybe I jumped behind him, because I, I, I thought there was one time where he didn't actually hear me. Or something. I could also probably cuckree him, right? Oh, I could land on the big platform to the left, actually. That's good. That's a good point. Never thought about that. Yeah, that's probably the play, and then he won't hear you landing, presumably. Well, the build the build looks horrible as it is, but at the same time, if he really... Like, if you're talking about Elon Musk build. If he really did remove gear to mid-roll on certain fights, then it's it's all of a sudden not bad at all, right? Because he's got Moonveil, Lusat Staff. You know, obviously two insanely strong things, especially when he was playing the game. <clears throat> and then... I didn't level up, but dude, they're going to get destroyed. It's just whether I go for a one cycle or not. And you know, he's got Roger's Rapier, so Elon Musk literally invented Roger's Rapier stuns. Clearly. He knew about that poise damage before any of us did. <laughs> and so... It's not a bad build, dude. It's really not, if, as long as he's not fat rolling. But who knows if he was. But he's, like, why else would he say he, he removed gear? So... I'm not really sure how I should do this, you guys. It'll just come here. Oh, baby. Is this gonna... Should I go for the one cycle? Or... I, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait a bit and rebuff. This is, I, I don't know if we have enough damage to kill boss here. Probably not. <clears throat> Just 
So much damage, though. Yeah, it's also gonna be worse on this guy because he's smaller. You you almost for sure could one cycle with this on this fight here. I've almost no doubt you could. Oh, I also forgot the I forgot the Roger set. Oops. I keep going to split, but we don't have to split because. <clears throat> We only have one split on this run. Honestly, can't remember if this dog aggroes or not, so I'm gonna just sneak and kill it. I don't think it does, but. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I think I'll just do bird skip here, man. Our damage is really good. Um, and then we can get Roger's set. I'll just... I, I do want to light roll <clears throat> on Malakath, so I'll just put as much gear as I can to light roll. Get the boost. I believe each piece is 2%, so... And yeah, right, Edie... I, 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 hopefully Edie's not waiting for me to, <laughs> to go over there. Right now. We, we don't have much more time on this run left, so Just, I would like to finish this run. Not have to, like, continue it tomorrow or something weird like that. I, I'm just going to do bird skip, I think, man. Let's go plus nine. Uh, I'm pretty sure Elon had spirit summons in his, yeah, in his inventory. Like, he definitely was summoning. So, he probably breezed through the game, dude, when you think about it. He probably didn't get stuck on any boss, except for maybe Millennia. Okay, I'm actually not able to fast travel out, because that guy... aggroed and attacked, so... Don't miss, which I did not. But he had, like, the ultimate, you know, <laughs> like, it's almost like the ultimate Redditor build. Someone who just searches up what the best setup is and just used it. Loose that staff, Moon Veil, all this insane gear. But, yeah, no, I would definitely, you know, I would have more freedom doing the Elon build than what I did for uh, Asmongolds, because, yeah, there's no record of it anywhere, so. Yeah, I, I would just have to... I would probably just go in a logical order. I, I probably would... I probably would just do, like, Godric and then go into... Renala after that with, like, a reasonable upgrade. But the, but the thing is, though, he he almost for sure didn't get Moonvale right at the start of the game. Right? So... <laughs> Bought his stuff in the ER, st <laughs> ER store, maybe, dude. Yeah, maybe he didn't even get it legit. Somebody dropped it for him. Redan in the chat. Oh, I did, dude. I, uh, should I go get the set? I guess I will, man. God damn it. I forgot. But honestly, I'm not in any rush to do Elon's build because I've already done a Moonveil no hit, so. I'm not in any rush. I'd rather do other people's builds who weren't using Moonveil. Okay, so how much of this can I put on? Actually, most of it, dude. So, so that, this is plus 6%, I believe. <clears throat> Which isn't bad. I haven't done Nagakiba, no. Actually, the only... I believe the only no-hit I've done... 
Was the katana was the moon veil, right? I don't think I've done another one. Uji no hit would be so easy. It'd, it'd be like, it'd be similar to the square off or pain sword, except just higher damage. <clears throat> All right, let's see this here, dude. Oh my god, it blocks the vision really badly, and I didn't think about that. Bye. <clears throat> it, 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 like, totally obscured my vision there. Clean fight, though. I, I was definitely expecting to get a, a stun there. Like, we just deal way too much poise damage to not get stuns everywhere on this guy. And he's a big boss, too, right? So that uh, is another ideal case for that, at least in phase two. Phase one, nah. Not sure how many of those hit. I was just trying to see through my, cl my smoke screen. All right, surely this Gideon will go properly. I, I, I'm kind of considering playing Horror Loose safe, man, if we, well, if we get there. <clears throat> okay, we have two levels lower than we did in the test, which should be fine. So we're level 83 here. We are level 85 in the test. Shouldn't really make a difference here. But, uh, yeah, when I, maybe, maybe I'll just, I'll fast roll. Oh man, we don't need- Oh, dude, we can fast roll even with the full set with this thing. Okay, just kidding. Because when we tested it on the opening on Horror Lou, it, it seemed a little close to his scream. But if I'm fast rolling, that's not nearly as risky. So I'm just going to remove these. Drop the ball on daggers? I don't know. I, I, I really haven't used daggers a lot. But one thing that was interesting when we were testing the master run is that just the standard dagger was not a good repost weapon at all. Which is weird, because in Dark Souls 3, the dagger would be better than almost anything else. But, I I, I don't know, man. Alright, sure, surely this will work. Oh, I didn't get a plus 10... Whoops, I forgot a plus 10, you guys. Oh boy. Okay, it was still fine. <laughs> still stun locks him. Honestly, it'd be more efficient for me to just go the rest of the game plus 9, because we still do so much damage. We don't even need the plus 10, but I'm still going to go get it. We'll say this weapon looks kind of weird. Do you guys know those, like, helicopters? You know, I, I, I don't even know what type of tree that's from. That's exactly what it looks like, and I just realized that. You know, like the seeds. I didn't think about that until right now.
But you know what? You know what is great though? Like this is this is a curve sword. So the R1s are really quick. And we have a really good build for this thing, right? So much magic damage, so many buffs stacked up here. That even on this on this boss where he moves around a lot and the Ashivore might not be like super optimal and it misses a lot, we can just R1, dude. And, he, and it still does good damage, so. Very versatile weapon. Which is nice. I when when you compare this to the Death's Poker, which obviously is a very strong weapon just for dealing damage, but it's not versatile at all. This is the opposite. Except it's also still a good weapon. It's it's an insane weapon with an insane Ash of War. Maybe it doesn't have the same damage potential. Um, but but yeah, it's it's so good in like everything, and it's very easy to use. Gonna fall asleep, man. Actually gonna fall asleep. Not sure how late I'm gonna be able to stay up helping ED tonight, dude. Maybe I'll we'll get a second wind. <laughs> Zevia. True, dude. My zero caffeine Zevia. Some of them do have caffeine in it, but the I'm drinking black cherry right now and it doesn't. Okay, so I guess I'm going to remove these two and so I'm fast rolling. This is where having that zero weight seal, which I should have picked up, would have been nice. Oh, wait. Uh, it's actually slightly heavier, so... Guess we'll see if I'm fast rolling. If not, I could just take off both. Just take off both. Cheeky bastard. Yeah, I, sh I should have done the second one there, but I was too scared. I, I kind of chickened out. Please stop screaming so I can kill you. I, I, I didn't trust the, the second one enough, dude. I should have trusted it, but I didn't. It probably would have been perfectly fine. Not not a great showcase there. I almost wonder what I what I probably should have done is like only do our ones in the first phase. Uh Godric's Great Rune. Is this 99? Should No. I guess we just keep going. We don't have the int. So what I should have probably done is just do all R1s in phase one, and then that probably would have set up the stun in phase two. But I didn't think about that before. Uh, 
Um, and then the question here, I'm, I'm gonna take off the chest piece because I, I'm not gonna, not gonna unequip all my stuff just to have to re-equip it again to buff mid base or whatever. I'm just gonna take off the chest. Yeah, I should have gotten that zero weight talisman. Pretty good damage. This is, look, just the curve sword moose that's so good too. That's probably fine. The fireworks show on the final boss, dude. There it is. Yeah, not getting Howl off was... I, I probably should have thought about that and just swapped out the filigree. But I, I kind of forgot. It didn't matter anyways. There we go, you guys. Pretty efficient, dude. A couple hours spent. Quickly route the run. Simply get it first try. Simple, dude. See, and this is why, this right here is why so many people, when I do an actual run that's challenging, they're like, oh, do runs normally take this long to get? Like, oh, I'm surprised you haven't gotten it yet. I think this is why, because when we do these simple runs that, you know, it's basically just a variation of something I've done 50 times already. It's like, well, yeah, no hit runs are so easy, dude. You just get them first try every time. <laughs> and then we do an actual run, like the Asmongold run. And... And it's like, that's an actual, like, increase in difficulty, dude. I actually have to get better for that run. This one, not really. All right, well, GG, you guys. Um, this was a pretty long run, but it's mostly because I didn't really know what to do at the start of it with the routing. But we did, we did craft an optimized build here, basically. I mean, this is, this is a good build for this thing, obviously. Insanely good. So... Yeah, pretty long run, though. But anyways, GG, guys. We did it. Simple. Um, I will be ending here, though. And I'm gonna be... I guess we can just raid Edie, right? I'll be hopping over on her stream and helping her with some DS1 stuff. But if I don't fall asleep, that is. I might fall asleep. Because I'm feeling a little sleepy, dude. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for hanging out today, you guys. I will be back on tomorrow, probably. Although, maybe maybe I should just, like, take a chill day off, man. But, nah, that's not what we do. We don't do that. But we do, um, yeah, some other any percent run tomorrow. Maybe we'll do that, like, uh, that big, uh, what is it called? The brick hammer? Because I was I, I was eyeing that one as well today, so. Uh, so, yeah, let's, we, we're, we're, we'll raid Edie. Like I said, I'm going to be... Helping her out a little bit today with the DS1 no-hit route. I might take like a quick break before I do it though, but... Oh, but yeah, go say to Edie, you guys. Um, she's trying to get hitless in DS1 before Christmas. And uh, I don't know how long she's been working on it for. It's It's been an amount of time, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, link's also in the YouTube chat, which I just posted there, but... Um, I can post it on the Twitch chat as well, I guess. Because sometimes raids fuck up. But anyways, uh, have a good, have a good one, you guys. I will see you all tomorrow, and we'll do some more runs, so. So take care, you guys.